Welcome back to Day and Night Stone, Death and Betrayal in Romania. I believe that's right. Anyway, yes, uh, during, oh, over the break, we were talking about spring break and holidays and stuff, and I was just about to mention how uh, I've not had an actual spring break since before I was in high school, and how I'm looking forward to that in college next year. I assume, well, I, a lot of it's probably with like class scheduling, I assume, where it's like, uh, if, since you only have classes, like, maybe on Mondays, for example, you don't want ten Monday holidays. You just want to take, like, a whole week off that so all the classes are screwed. And just call it good. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh-huh. I mean, I'm looking forward to it, because they have a uh, couple... They give you a couple breaks over, uh at the college I'm going to, they give you spring break, the regular spring break, and then they also give you uh, Easter off. They give you the Friday and the Monday at Easter off, so that's a, it's wow. short, but it's a break, nonetheless. That's been a while since I've heard of that. Yeah, they do it. <laughs> that is like, my gosh. Elementary school is the last time I've had that happen. Cause now, I'm not complaining, because then I can get a little bit of a break, and then, of course, there'll be that one mean professor who says, Hey, guess what? You come back from break, we're having a test! <laughs> I mean, whatever floats their boat, I guess. Yeah, fortunately this semester I think I'll get lucky. They're having all the tests before the break. Well, not before Easter break, but even, like before spring break. They're doing all the tests before the break. Oh, wait a minute. Huh? <laughs> I was looking at these, like, medallion thingies. One of them was all scratched out. She's like, huh, I wonder what that one is. It's like, wait a minute, one of the things is all scratched out. Is that literally what they designed it as? Just something that's completely... What? I thought that was like a trick or something. It's like, you gotta figure out which one is the odd one out. It's like, no, there's just one that's... a mess. <laughs> like, someone with a seizure drew it. Someone added a bunch of rocks to this thing, which is just like, why did you do that? Come on. The designer of this castle said, hey, we got a bunch of rocks. What do you want to do with them? Let's build a puzzle. Good idea. <laughs> Holy crud. Except Wait, these how rocks are move kind of one? annoying. Especially when they don't want to go the way I want them to. I swear, some of these, it's like I can't see like all the moves, and half the time it looks like you're just completely... Just skipping over everything, which I don't... Maybe that's how it works. No, it's it's passing out on me, too. It's just the way the recording is kind of going. When, you have, when you're when you screen sharing as well as recording at, like, 3,000 pixels by 1,000-something pixels, it's going to get a little bit of slowdown. Okay, what is with this now? I'm, those... It doesn't freaking match up. Yeah, I just figured out what the thing actually wants, so I am currently assembling it. It's oh, supposed to kidding. go across. It was a trap. So, oh, I gotcha. So it wasn't that they like they scratched out the same one. They scratched out one that the medallion is still good. Yeah, you're figuring this out about at about the same time past me is figure figuring this out. Uh huh. So. <laughs> just okay, fine. It was a trick. Yeah. And then, uh, past me also figures out that there is another trick. Oh, come Which on. that hint just revealed to me. Did it move the pieces? Yeah, so now I'm paused. I'm stopped because I'm like, wait, what? Why did it move there? And then I figured it out, so here I go assembling correctly. I want to see this. Mm. Do, do, do. Oh, jeez. No, I tell you what, I would have done the same thing you did. It's like, it looks like they're all supposed to be on the side, not in a straight line. Yeah, I know, right? <sighs> At least it adjusted well. And yay, achievement. Don't really care about too much, mainly because there's pointless achievements in this particular game. No. It doesn't help that we're not, like, following the game, because I would probably understand, like, where we've ended up now, but... Yeah. Is this castle massive, or is are we, like, in a town or something? I think this ca it's a castle that's massive, because eventually the, we're going to run into the caretaker 
AKA Dexter again. So. Gotcha. And he's all like, what are you doing, Miss Nightstone? Actually, that's the wrong voice. That's, uh, Miss Nightstone. What are you doing? I sent you the race at the elevator. Now go do it. I like the other voice, actually. Oh, really? Okay. I don't know why. That sounded, like, really genuine. That was actually... The first voice I did was actually his voice. So, uh... Yeah, that was that was good. I... It's kind of weird. Could voice though. acting for I this game if I had to, probably. Right. But I'm not going to. But truly, it's like... So basically, we've done a bunch of stuff, and all we've managed is to, like, get into the main courtyard. Basically. We have a fun jacket, though. It's a caretaker. One thing that people were a bit disappointed about this game is, like you said, it's a massive castle, and that's what we're exploring. Yeah, they didn't like that because they liked how in the other games... We travel. Yeah, we travel. A lot. I mean, sure, it's a different location with, like, different things to do, but if you just, like, walk around a building for the whole game, I mean, what's the point? Yeah, I mean, I suppose we'll fix the ghost problems. Yeah, something. we'll fix the ghost problem. Well, it's more like we kind of got screwed. I don't know why we haven't just left at this point. <laughs> I don't know why we don't leave at any point in these games. It's like we're helping ghosts. We're what Dana the... Nightstone. We what do don't leave. Do? I mean, it's just like, what does that help him? What is that the ghost whisper? Like you're supposed to help him get to heaven or something? Or. Is it just that they're kind of angry and they might disturb someone that comes into the castle that only has one person in it? Yeah. Also, by the way, uh, I guess I could say this now. There's, yeah, there was a, there were culprits in the last two games, right? I That's forget. True. So there was something else. Yeah. Cause... And I realize now that like, there are a bunch of like the, <laughs> some of the people here like killed each other, so. I don't know why we'd help them at any point, ever. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, we're trying to help the people who didn't do the killing. We're trying to help... Uh... Okay, well, everyone's uh, in our way. Yeah. Hopefully ghost axes, like, don't affect us or something. Yeah, we'll have to find out eventually. Well, take... well... I mean, do we count the axe that broke the thing we were sitting on way back at the beginning of the game? You remember that? It's been a few weeks, so I'm not surprised if you don't. Yeah. Uh. Strong. Eh. Uh. Okay. Eh. Uh. This will probably be. I'm just thinking now. This will probably be the last Boom Zap game we'll ever do. To be honest, because we're done basically. We did all the Awakening games, and yep. this is the last Dana game to date. Yeah, and that's just it. I mean... I mean, unless we want to do other world, but I don't really <laughs> want to. You know, it seems like there are a bunch of, like... Well, there are always uh, just a ton of games that we can go, like, go into. Especially... Yeah. Not all of them need to be, like... Well, they should all be adventure. You don't have to be, like... At least not... adventure. That's the only requirement we should really have. Yep. There is one adventure game, you, I mentioned this to you yesterday when we were trying to work on it, that we'd, I'd like to do eventually on here. And since it's not like a full screen game and it's in a window, we could probably do live commentary again for that. We'll should, see. It, should, should I mention it or should we kind of keep it quiet for now? Uh... I assume you know what I'm talking about, of course. Right. I, I don't know how secret I mean, you want to be, I guess. I mean, it is definitely different from what we've done, but it's still... I'd still classify it as an adventure game. That's all we really need. I almost wonder if, uh... How we... I hope they get it working soon, like... Where it's actually fairly good frame rate and the gameplay. Because <laughs> then we could begin. Yeah, to think we don't even have to limit ourselves to, like, the computer. Ooh. Yeah. 
Cause, yeah, then, yeah, because we can, we'll, we'd be rotating gameplay, right? That's what we agreed on? Correct. Yeah, oh, so. right. If, yeah. Hmm. That's the only part where... I think we agreed we would be sending save states back and forth. When we did that, but, uh... Yeah, this all hinges on... <laughs> getting the thing to work, yeah. And having, like, a... Yeah, like a decrypted version that plays on a computer. Yeah. Hmm. Is that... A... I will say, though, the progress they're making now, um, in terms of that development, is about where I thought it'd be a few years back, when I was, like, thinking about when we'd get to it, so... That's true. Oh, if, and I think we can say it's, like, we're talking about the 3DS. I mean... Yeah, we're talking about the 3DS. There are a lot of games. It's gonna be hard for you to guess, but... Yeah, the real question is, like... If, would I also have to have a 3DS, or could you, like, literally, like, decrypt the game? Because... Well, I don't own the game, so... Ah, oh, crud. You... Mm. Or... Mm. Do you get a ROM that could be decrypted? I think if you find, like, a ROM online, I think those are all still, like, encrypted versions of the game that you could decrypt. Like, indirectly, it's a, it's a bunch. Basically, 3DS is, like, extremely complicated. No shock there. Yeah. It's hard to transfer a 3D game platform onto a computer. Who would have guessed? Yeah. I mean... No, I wouldn't have enough time to do that. I was gonna suggest maybe I could get my hands on the game and uh, hook, it up, hook up my brother's 3DS to the computer and try and record off it. But I'm leaving too soon and I wouldn't have enough time to complete the game. Right. Because he's not gonna let me take the 3DS his 3DS a thousand miles away to where I'm going to college. Right. So, that idea's out. Also, I need to, uh... How much is that game? It's like, uh, 50 bucks, right? It's a good question. It's... Seems old at this point. Like I don't I... even remember what year it came out. 2014, I feel? Somewhere well, around we're, there? We're kind of narrowing this down, but not yet. <laughs> Crap, it, it, yeah, it is 50. Dang. Oh, I think they have it at game. I'll look at. There's a GameStop in town. I'll go see if maybe they have it for a cheaper price. Yep, that's the main question. Because. Yeah. No? Yeah, that's 3DS games. Well, I, I'm kind of out of the loop. Yeah. Wow, these games do not reduce in price ever. Uh, they had. There was a Wii U game that they have that they marked down from the launch price like 50 something it's now $20 so there's that oh my god I oh that's awful like for this series the original game which came out in like wait who are you I must speak huh? 2008 maybe as Amazon says who it went that? up in price to get a new game be because there are the no copies left anymore it's $58 for the DS the first oh. game the very first DS game. What game was that? Well, I can't say it. It gives it away. Oh. It kind of gives away the series, and then... That, we don't want to do that. Okay, uh, what? <laughs> yeah. Well, then that, that's all I need to know, because I know... <laughs> I know what series we're talking about. So. But truly, that's just whack. How that works out sometimes. Like... Oh, what was that other game? I'm trying to think now, because I swear there was a game that I was trying to get that's not just an older one, probably from the 90s, just like an original adventure game kind of thing. Kind of like Mist and or something like that? I think it was... You know, I think it was Grim Fandango, actually. Oh, yeah, I've heard of that. I think like an original copy of the game on PC, or at least a game similar to that, was like a hundred bucks. Wow. It's outrageous. Just some of the older games, like, because they keep, like, maintain their quality for so long, I mean, once they're, like, none of them, then you have the problem of scarcity, and you can charge whatever the heck you want for it all of yeah. a sudden. 
What the heck is this? An outrageous puzzle. What? 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 How many? How do you know how many squares it flips? You don't. It's just blind luck. It Let's is, but I do it. I do it. I managed to solve it. That is awesome. Because it's like, these are games with puzzles in general, where it's like, no, it's only supposed to flip the ones adjacent to it, not like t one halfway across the screen. Yeah, in fact, I tried to use my strategy for those flippy puzzles at first, and it failed because of how the tiles flip. Yeah, just like, random. Yeah. And of course, any of them can flip, right? So you don't even know. You can't keep track. I didn't even remember how I solved this, so... Well, I want to find out. That's for yeah. dang sure. I'm just gonna anxiously watch as I click the tiles. <laughs> 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 We're actually paying attention, like, hardcore to the gameplay now. Oh, that flipped, like, all of them up there. It's like... Uh, I got it! I got it! Solved it. Yeah, how do you know? That's amazing! And of course, you still have to get lucky with, like, the corner one and hope that it flips, like, some of the tiles too away from it. Yeah. Why would you put that on a toolbox, of all things? I don't know. This caretaker is weird. That is true. Like, I'm surprised there aren't, like, dead bodies in here. <laughs> well, I don't know. There's a huge pile of rubble. So there might be still. Eh. Gay us. Let's find out. Oh, now we gotta find a wheelbarrow to move him away. <laughs> we didn't do anything! <laughs> Dana, you're useless. <laughs> didn't do anything. It's just kinda like hit it a little bit. It's just like, eh, I tried. Sometimes I wonder if that's how these characters work. I think these games in general, it's just like, because you have to have so many puzzles, because there's to fill up, all of the space that would have otherwise been used for, well, basically like action sequences, it just gets kind of insane. Like, yeah. no human being would follow this exact process for doing what you're doing, but you have to because otherwise the game is just like, would take like two minutes. Honestly, the plot to this game should be like, oh, there are ghosts in this castle? Well, how about I go to another castle? See ya. <laughs> so Dana doesn't seem like the kind of person who would say, I'm going to another castle. Well, exactly, and it makes no sense, but at least you have a game out of it. Oh, good. We put the wagon up. Yeah. Oh, good. That was freaking terrible placement of the boards, but I guess it'll work. <laughs> I'll just smush them on the wheelbarrow here. Done. There we go, and then we can get rid of that. No dead bodies, just a box. Could be a head, though. <laughs> we already found the head. Exactly, it's like, what if there are more? Why are we assuming that there was only one? Ooh, it's a treasure chest. Money, except Dana's not smart enough to keep it. I was gonna say, it's like, is that it? Did we win? Why would we not win then? If I if I was Dana, I would take the chest and run for the hills. Mm, they're like, well, they forget. Sorry, report. ghost, you're on your own. Maybe the Dexter caretaker will help you. It even says, keep this payment discreet. <laughs> so. Nope, we're just gonna take the book and leave the money. Ah, oh, whatever. I don't even know if we're rich or not. I'm not sure how much money she made off of her other ghost books. I know, is she like Stephen King and she just like pumps one out every year and it sells like Ghost New York Times bestseller? I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of curious to see if there's actually someone who wrote up like a fanfic of a Day and Night Stone novel. <laughs> No, I'm actually kind of curious. I might go to fanfiction.net when we're done here and type up Dana Nightstone. <laughs> My gosh, there are a lot of moving parts to this. See, yeah, this, this puzzle's is, annoying. This is a Dana Nightstone problem. These aren't puzzles. They're just long. Yeah, re re remember the... Speaking of long, do you remember that long <laughs> gem hunt we had to do from a couple games back? I think I do. That was a which, nightmare. Which is not a good thing. Like, if I remember, like, 
having to hunt for stuff, you did it wrong. Yeah. You know, if I'm feeling in the mood or remember, I might actually just do a, a clip over the video showing that, that, that uh, thing. Just to remind those who don't remember. Okay, how do you move the lion? Like, under his leg. I don't... You don't move him under the leg, it's separate. They just did that to make it hard to see what the pieces are supposed to be in position, and they succeeded. <sighs> oh my gosh, that's weird. You just have his face, like, straight up in the air. <laughs> you can make him look like a... All kinds of weird stuff. Make him Heil Hitler if you wanted to. <laughs> That, that seems like, jeez, you can make his wrist frickin' like, curl Holy backwards cow. into his arm. <laughs> There's actually a couple Dan Nightstone fanfics on here. Uh, to uh, clarify, I pulled out my cell phone real quickly and looked up Dan Nightstone fanfiction.net, and a couple popped up. I don't know if they're any good, but there's some on here. Right. Oh, you can make him dance. Oh, do you have to move his foot? I swear. It doesn't even work right. Like, the lion's arm moves into its mane. Why? It's insane. Oh, okay. These are pieces of junk, so I'm just, I'm just looking. They're like nothing. Yeah. I don't know what I expect, to be <laughs> honest. Oh, I remember once from a, cu a couple of Dan I've still games back, I said we should make one called Death Causes Death Upon a Dan... Uh, remember, the you remember the one where we got the gun in the uh, Austrian Sonata? Yes. I said we should make a fanfic called Dana Causes Death Upon an Austrian Sonata. <laughs> a Dana uh -huh. It's Stone novel. Honestly, I don't see why not. Oh, that was- I need to go watch that episode again. That was actually a really good one that we made. It's old oh, as I'll get out, but it was fun. Oof. At least that part's over. Yeah. The episode's almost, also almost over, if I remember correctly. I saw that long thing, and then I saw this thing, and then I say, we're done. See you next time. So what's in here? Just a piece of paper. And I think I end it. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure I end it. Or no, no, what do I do? Well, I'm about to end it because it's only a couple seconds left. So I'm going to go look up Dana causes death upon an Austrian Sonata. See you guys next time. <laughs>